Amen. We pray that, the, that God will continue to expand your mind concerning the Word of God and that you will have insight, revelation, knowledge into the will of God and have clarity. That's it. Clarity concerning the kingdom of God. We're going back to where we were on last week. Amen. Acts chapter 11, verse 1 through 18. Amen. We'll, we, we will be reading in the New King James Version. Amen. From the same topic that we had on, on last week, amen, we dealt, we dealt with, amen, the mindset of exceptional leaders. The mindset of exceptional leaders. Amen. A mindset. There's a mindset that accompanied those who have gone over the average to extraordinary. That's a mindset that, uh, that accompanied those who have decided not to be mediocre, and, amen, and average. Praise God. Exceptional. There's a mindset. There's a common, there are common denominators, praise God, that go along with those that, uh, that are hand-picked and hand-chosen by God. Acts 11, amen. Acts 11, beginning at verse 1, we'll read down through verse Amen. 18, and we'll reference some of the other scriptures that come up with, amen, uh, with this. Praise God. Acts 11 and 1 says, Now the apostles and the brethren who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, those of the circumcision contended with him, uh, saying, You went into uncircumcised men and ate with them. But Peter explained it, amen, to them in order from the beginning, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, amen, and in a trance I saw a vision, amen, an object descending like a great sheet let down from heaven by the four corners, and it came to me. Verse 6, and when I observed it intently and considered I saw four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air. And I heard, I heard voice, uh, amen, a voice saying to me, Arise, Peter, kill and eat. But I said, No, not so, uh, Lord, for nothing common or unclean has at any time entered my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven. Amen. What God has cleansed, you must not, amen, call common. Look at verse 10. Now this was done three times, and all, and all were drawn again into the heavens. At the very moment, at that very moment, look at that, at that very moment, three men stood before uh, the house where I was, having been sent to me from Caesarea. Then the Spirit told me to go with them, doubting nothing. More, amen. Moreover, these six men accompanied me when we entered the man's house. And he told us how that he had seen an angel standing in his house who said to him, send men to Joppa and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter. Amen. Who will tell you the words by which you and all of your household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them and upon as upon us at the beginning. Then I remembered the word of the Lord, amen, how he said, John indeed baptized with water, but amen, you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If therefore God gave them the same gift as he gave us when we believed, on the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could contend with God? Glory to God. And when they heard these things, they began, they became silent and they glorified God saying, then God has also granted the Gentiles repentance to life. Thank you, Father. God has also granted the Gentiles repentance to life. Hallelujah. Amen. Peter says, who am I to contend Amen. To withstand God. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing. This is not, this is not Peter's doing. Again, tonight, amen. The mindset, amen, of exceptional leaders. 
amen, uh, mindset of exceptional leadership. It is of the utmost, and I think I'll start out by saying this, um, that those are going to go over into the level or to the realm of being called exceptional. That's my word, exceptional. Amen. Our mindset has to accompany the current move of God. I want to say that again. Our mindset has to accompany the current move of God. We can be filled with the Spirit, have all, amen, revelation and power, but if our mind and our actions don't line up with what God is saying right now, we can only go, uh, amen, so far. Up to this point, up to this point, the only people, for the most part, who have received the Holy Spirit, amen, as Jews. Amen. Chapter 10 and 11 is a pivotal point in the scripture where uh, we go on to the utmost points through Peter and uh, through Paul. Praise God. As according to the word of God in Acts 1 and 8, uh, Jesus says, tarry here in Jerusalem that you may receive, amen, until you receive power. Then you shall be witness unto, unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea and Samaria and to the utmost parts, amen, of the world. This is where the utmost parts began, amen, and this is where Paul comes on the scene heavily. However, amen, as well, Peter has to be transformed because of, number one, his level of influence within the church at Jerusalem. Peter, being the leader, has enough influence, amen, has enough credibility, amen, has enough uh, that he's already demonstrated. That's the key right there. He's already demonstrated that he hears God and that he's, amen, uh, a disciple that can be trusted. So this is one of the most, is one of the uh, many, I should say, strategic times in the word of God, amen, where you see the hand of God operating in a very strategic way. When you read chapter 10, that four day, um, that four, yeah, four day, because it says in, in, in Acts 10 and 28, that it was the fourth day that Peter, by the time he got to, amen, Caesarea, to the centurion, uh, uh, to, to Cornelius, amen. So it was a four day episode. But all along the way, you see the hand of God moving in a very strategically powerful way, amen, to, to bring to Cornelius Peter because what he had already, listen to this, what he had already put in the earth realm, he didn't have to reduplicate Pentecost. Say it again. But what he's already released into the earth realm, there was no need to re, reduplicate Pentecost uh, in the house of Cornelius because the power of God was already resting on Peter. Amen. So what he needed was already <laughs> glory to God. In the earth realm, the, 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 the demand just had to hook up with the supply. Say it again. The demand had to just hook up with the supply. So we see the necessity of the book of Acts uh, amen, because it's necessary in the Acts that we understand the book of Acts, because without it, amen, we lose the history of the spread of the gospel. We lose a lot of the doctrinal defense concerning Christ, amen, this Christ Jesus, amen, uh, this Jesus being the Christ. We lose and have no reference concerning what Paul came from and so many other things, but the book of Acts is absolutely critical for your studies. It's critical for your studies because in that, we, uh, amen, we find out the spread of the gospel. We find out that the move of the Holy Spirit. We find out so many important things and important places like Ephesus, like Philippi, like Corinth, amen, and so the, and like Galatia. And so the books of the epistles later on makes no sense. Amen. If you don't have the book of Acts, you got to study it again and you got to continue to develop in the book of Acts because it's necessary for where the Lord is, is taking us. Amen. The other thing that's important is Peter is key to the spread of the gospel. Amen. Peter is key 
And so Peter is first, <laughs> glory, to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. Peter is proton. He said he is first, and all others came behind him. Amen. God hand-chosen him, glory to God, for this very moment uh, to spread the gospel. But his mindset was so uh, narrow in regard to the people. He was okay with the system. Paul had a problem with the system. Peter didn't have a problem with the system, had a problem with the people who would receive the system. Both mindsets had to be changed. Glory to God. Amen. Peter was not a heathen. He was not, amen, uh, uh, some Gentile that did not know God. He was very, very religious, but wrong. Say it again, Bogus. Peter was very, very religious. Amen. We, we gather that from the statement in Acts in chapter 10 and the restatement in chapter 11 with the vision of the sheep, amen, and how it let down and all of these different creatures within it and tells him, rise, kill, and eat. And he made a factual statement. I have not eaten these things, not even in my youth I haven't eaten. Amen. So he is very pious, but at current, before the revelation, his mindset is not in alignment with the, amen, the current move of God. Lord have mercy. He is very pious. He's very religious. But, amen, he is traditional. But his traditional mindset amen, is not in alignment with the current move of God. And in order for, thank you, Father, for us to transition over into exceptional arena, that exceptional era, we have to be quick, amen, to change our minds in areas that is against the will of God, amen, the plan of God, amen. And uh, Jesus says that he's not going to pour new wine into old wineskin. <laughs> Glory to God. He says he's not going to pour new wine, amen, into old wineskins. And you got to get that um, that uh, that uh, narrative there and understand that if you put, when wine is poured into wineskin, new wine, new wineskin, this, this, the fermentation process causes the skins to, uh, uh, it, 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 exp it expands. And with new skin, it expands with the, with the ferment, ferment, fermentation process, amen, thereby there's room to afford to expand and not burst, not open up. Glory to God. But if that process in those skins has already taken place, and it already has stretched out, if you put new wine in old wine skins, you're going to break and mess up the skins and waste the wine. Glory to God. And so what is pointing towards, beloved, is a mentality. What is pointing towards, beloved, is a mindset. Glory to God. If we're going to handle the new wine of this, thank you, Father, of this time, of this age, of what God is doing in the church, we have to also accompany God with, uh, amen, the mindset, the mindset that will cause the kingdom to advance. Hey, glory. That will cause the kingdom of God, amen, to advance. Now, what does it mean to be exceptional? What does it mean to be exceptional? The word exceptional, amen, literally means to be unusual or not typical. Some of the synonyms that I thought were very powerful, amen, for the word uh, exceptional, it means to be rare, <laughs> I thought that was excellent. Amen. To be rare, to be uncommon, uh, extraordinary. Here's a word, amen, peculiar. Uh, that's it, a special, amen, unique. That's the kind of people God is raising up, amen. He says we are his own special people. Thank you, Father. First Peter, the second chapter in verse nine, it starts to say, amen, we are, we are his work, we are, we are, Amen. A royal priesthood. Glory to God. Amen. And that we are his special, his we are you, his unique people. Listen, every one of us that have been born again of the Spirit of God, in us is the ability, amen, to do the extraordinary. Say it again. Every one of us 
that it has been born again of the Spirit of God in us is the ability to be extraordinary, to be rare, to be special, to be unique. The issue is, uh, and the challenge for all of us, is that we have to align up with God-given revelation for the times, uh, amen, so that our mindset match the move of God, amen. The challenge for all of us is that, amen, we must yield to God-given revelation, and our mindset has to line up with the current move of God, amen, and we can't procrastinate, we can't be lazy, praise God, we can't uh, be slow, praise the name of the Lord. What Peter says, and you have to read that in Acts 10 as well, let's, let's, let's back up to that, amen, that while he was having this revelation, while he was seeing the vision, amen, uh, of the four-footed all kinds of four-footed animals of the earth. Amen. Acts chapter 12, chapter 10 and verse 12. Wild beasts, creeping things, birds of the air. While he was receiving this vision, amen, the men that were sent from Cornelius, amen, was knocking at the door. Praise God. When the vision was ended, they were knocking at, at the door. Uh, verse 19, while Peter, amen, thought about the vision, the spirit said to him, behold, Three men are seeking you. Arise, therefore, go down, go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Amen. This is it right here. Peter doesn't have time to give, amen, three days worth of fasting and prayer. He doesn't have time, amen, to go 21 days, amen, in a Daniel, quote unquote, Daniel fast, amen, because the Spirit is moving on him to move right now. Amen. So Peter's current mindset is still there because he tells the men, amen, it's not lawful for me to go with you, but the Spirit just said, I will go. So he is uh, uh, exceptional leadership. You're taking notes, write this down. We'll move when God say move. If you're going to go over to this exceptional type leadership, you got to move, amen, in a hurry. You're taking notes, write this down. No procrastinating. <laughs> Glory, though procrastinating. This Peter, amen, moved when God said move, even though it still challenged his mindset, but he, he knew enough to know, number one, the voice of God. He knew enough to know, amen, the voice of God. Number two, he knew enough to know, amen, uh, not to doubt. Praise God. But to go, but to go on the whole time, because it's a, and when I looked at did the math in chapter 10, it's about a day's journey back. It's about a day's journey back from Joppa to Caesarea. It's about walking. It's about a day's journey. Amen. So the whole time he's walking with these uh, Gentiles, glory to God. Amen. Uh, the plan of God is not fully revealed yet, but he got enough word and revelation to be obedient. That's all you need. <laughs> Glory to God. Is enough word, enough revelation to be obedient. Amen. So when he gets back with them, he begins to preach. He begins to explain to them this Christ that they have, that we have received. But he starts off by saying this in chapter 10 and verse 32. Amen. He says, in truth, I perceive that God shows no partiality, but in every nation who fears him, Works of right works righteousness is accepted by him. Amen. Peter perceived, listen, something else is going on here. Exceptional people don't joust when God is changing when God is changing them. Exceptional people don't joust with God, amen, with God when he is changing us. Amen. Peter has to change not only his mentality, praise God, but he got to preach to a people. Amen. That at the current time of death, he may not necessarily like. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen. But after they he had preached, amen, according to Acts 10 and 44, that when Peter was still speaking the word, the word, praise God. And the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word, and upon those uh, of the circumcision who believed, and those who of the circumcision was astonished. 
as many as came with Peter, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Amen. Then Peter answered, can anyone forbid, hallelujah, can anyone uh, forbid water that these should not uh, be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. And then they asked him to stay, amen, a few days. So praise God, he just didn't stay and leave. He amen, can't come and leave. He stayed yet still, amen, a few days after they had received the Holy Spirit, after they had been baptized. Praise the name of the Lord, amen. Exceptional leadership, amen, or transitional leadership at the command of God. You're taking notes, write that down exceptional leadership or transitional leadership, praise God, at the command of God. Amen. We got to learn how to walk in sync with the Holy Spirit. I got to say that again. We have to learn how to walk in sync with the Holy Spirit. This is important for you. This is, this is absolutely necessary because many times we can have the revelation, the <laughs> glory, we can have the power of God within us been baptized and filled, amen, but yet not the mindset, to, amen, that goes along with the power that will manifest, amen, the will of God. We got to have the mindset along with the power that will manifest the will of God, amen. This is the hour, this is the time when God is hand-making exceptional leaders that will lead the body of Christ into this next move of God, and, and to, in this current move of God. Amen. Exceptional leadership, amen, have been handmade. Peter got rebuked like crazy, but it was all in preparation for where he was going. Amen. Peter got rebuked, looked like on every hand. Amen. Even in the post-resurrection of Christ, Peter was getting corrected and trained. Amen. If you're in a stage in your walk where you feel like you're always being corrected, amen, uh, count it all joy. Glory to God. If you, because the Lord loved those whom he chastised, count it all joy because it is only the, the level of training that will, that precede exceptional people. Hallelujah. If you're corrected, it seems like constantly. Glory to God. Amen. It is just a precursor of what you're about to be because the Lord is saying, where I'm taking you, you cannot have this mindset. You can't have these habits. You can't have this mindset. Amen. These uh, issues. Glory to God. you got to be trained thoroughly for where I'm taking you. It is only an indicator of your importance. Glory to God. Correction from heaven is only an indicator of your level of a future importance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's, it's an indicator that you are being prepared, amen, for great work. Rejoice and be glad. Thank you, Father. It is an indicator that, amen, you're being polished and you're going through a different type of training than, the, amen, than anybody, everybody else. Amen. Rejoice in that, understanding and knowing that you're not being picked on, but you've been picked out to lead the body into this next move of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Get that in your spirit. Listen, my time is up. This is all I have on tonight. I want to encourage you strongly to go back and study and read through, amen, uh, Acts 9, 10, and 11, and maybe even 12, praise God, with the, a new set of eyes. Go back and look at that, praise God, because that Acts 10 and 11 primarily is pivotal. It's a, it's a take place, amen, where it takes us into the utmost parts of the world. The mindset and the individuals that are going to be the leaders in that, Peter and Paul, hallelujah, praise God, they are cut from a different cloth. Peter and Paul are cut from a different cloth. Glory to God. Amen. And so these are the type of people that God is preparing for this hour, individuals who have been well-trained, that are cut from a different cloth, that got a different mindset, that got a different type of character, 
that can take some training, that can take some rebuke, amen, and yet still go on in the power of God. Absolutely necessary. I feel that in my spirit. Absolutely necessary that you understand that, that, amen, training, that level of training is a precursor to the greatness that's, amen, that's within you and your mindset have to match God and match his, amen, his move. Praise the name of the Lord, amen. Peter was very religious, but wrong. His traditional mindset concerning the Jews, amen, if not changed by the revelation of the sheep dropped down from heaven, he would have been a hindrance and not a help to the spread of the church. It is up to the utmost important that Peter uh, uh, understand God's ultimate plan for the Gentiles and only God, hear this, only God could make that clear to him. Only God could make that clear because Peter was stubborn. Praise God. If you're going to be stubborn about it, amen, be stand for something. Praise God. God said, I got to show this man because, amen, the, 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 mob, the move of God is hindered upon him. Amen. It's hinged on him. And he got he has to be a part of this. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's 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 necessary. It's necessary for us to have a mindset that's in alignment with the current move of God, and that no traditional religious thought life, amen, no old wine skin, amen, can stop, will be able to stop the uh new wine move of God. Praise God. We got to have that because there's so much that's going on that the old mindset is stopping the move of God. And this is this is us, beloved. We have to be able to stand where God is uh, calling us because there's much more the church has to do. There's, uh, amen, before the Lord Jesus Christ's return. There's so much more the church has to do before the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And my mind has to line up with the, with the current move of God. Glory to God. Amen. If we're going to be extraordinary, if we're going to be rare, unique, if we're going to be exceptional, praise God. Now, we're satisfied with being common and mediocre. Praise God. Bless your heart. Amen. But I wasn't born to be common. And I wasn't born to be mediocre. And I wasn't born to be average. Amen. I was born, amen, to manifest the Father in the earth realm. I was born to be exceptional. Glory to God. In me is royal DNA. In me is royal, in, in every spirit-filled believer is royal DNA. Hey Amen. But our, it's our mindset and our disciplines. Hey Amen. That will, only that will manifest what's, what's in us. Hey Amen. Because they, that will line up with the blessed will of God in the name of Jesus. Blessing to you all. Father, thank you for what you've done in us. As we are sojourners and pilgrims, we're passing through Father God, but it's your plan and it's uh, the mindset necessary where we leave our mark as we are passed through and the, uh, generations behind us will see and understand the revelation in the will of God. I thank you for each one that's under the sound of my voice now and those that will uh, hear this recording in the future. I pray that your spirit would rest upon them and that they would recognize their significance and that they would recognize your hand up on them and the time that we live in and that, amen, that their mindset would align with the power and with the move of God so that, amen, we do exploits. Those that know you would do exploits. And so, Father, we bless you. We thank you. God, we magnify you. God, we lift you. You alone are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, 